Hi everyone, it's Daniel Chin, the author of The Manifested Millionaire. Hope you had a wonderful weekend and is keeping safe and healthy in this uh, snowstorm as we have a lot of snow here in Hamilton. So today, I'd really like to talk about two things which I think is very key for success in life. And that is perseverance and also preparation. Because you always have to prepare for anything in life. If you wanna win or if you wanna succeed or if you want to achieve what it is you're doing, you have to always prepare for anything in life. And in some, sometimes or in some cases, you might not win all of the time and you might lose. And of course it might not be a good feeling, but your losses, your failures, if you want to call it failures, but you, sh but you shouldn't think it's a failure, but your losses should help you to get better, right? For you to become stronger, for you to keep on going and to try again and try again and of course prepare, right, uh, for the next time so you can do it, you can be better and you can give, give it a much better um, chance and effort, right, to succeeding. And eventually you will succeed. And most things in life is like that. And I could tell you, for example, about two weeks ago when I did a speech competition in Toastmasters, which is a club where we do uh, public speaking to improve on your communication skills and of course public speaking, which you know in terms you know helps you to become a more confident person uh, and and of course, uh, when it comes to de developing your leadership skills as well. So it's all personal development. And that speech competition, I was performing on a much higher level, at a very high level, where you had some really good contestants. They had a lot of experience and they were really great speakers. And I had a big mental blockage to overcome, which because eight years ago, I actually did enter the speech competition in Toastmasters and I was young, very overconfident, thought I really had it and I thought I was going to ace it and this was actually in Mississauga in Ontario, Canada and I was, you know, doing my speech in front of like a hundred people, right, in, in the room and I can tell you, I thought I had it, I thought I was confident, I was very much overconfident because I was young, but I lost it when I was doing my speech because I got paralyzed with fear. And for 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes, I had like a hundred pair of eyes looking at me, waiting for the next word to come out of my mouth. And I was so paralyzed, right? And I couldn't, you know, have things together and I couldn't get another word out. So from that experience, I, you know, for eight years, eight years now later, I haven't entered into a speech competition, but certainly when it came to writing my speech and practicing my speech and actually overcoming that mental blockage to, to compete in the speech competition, it was a big fear for me. But what helped me to overcome that mental blockage or that fear that I had in my mind was preparation. And I prepared, I prepared, I over-prepared, and it, it enabled me to, to, uh, to, to feel more confident because I prepared so many times, right? I prepared my speech so many times, I felt, okay, I got this. However, I was very grateful that I had very positive and supportive people also in my Toastmasters club. And on the day of the speech competition, a few hours before, the president of the club sent me a wonderful email, right? And tell me to have fun and enjoy the experience. So very positive support, right, from, from others. And that helps a lot. So having that positive, supportive people around you. And unfortunately, I didn't win, but it was a good experience and after so much preparation mentally to perform at a much higher level, right? Am I looking forward to do it again? Absolutely. 
and it applies to anything that you're going through in your life that to, you're trying to achieve something that you don't have or have never had before in your life of course you got to do something you know that you have never done and you have to be uncomfortable so so that means getting out of your comfort zone and of course preparation and if you you know if you if you didn't uh, achieve it the first time right um or you didn't come first place or second place or third place right then that's okay you learn from the experience and then you try again and until you succeed so those are two things i really wanted to talk about when it comes to the keys of success to, to having success in your life and it applies to anything even in my real estate investing business it can even apply for your health it can even apply for uh, your wealth your money or anything or your work life right or anything that you are uh, which is your goals you have set already for 2021 so preparation and perseverance always prepare for anything in life and if you don't succeed the first time try again and again until you succeed so thank you very much for listening today and it's always a pleasure making these videos so like and subscribe where you can and on which social media platform it's on and you know i look forward to seeing you in the next video so thank you very much